Hi, my name is Ahmad Yunus. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer here at VMware. And today we're going to talk about the vCenter Server Appliance 6.5 file-based backup and restore. New in the vCenter Server Appliance 6.5 is native file-based backup restore, which allows you to backup your vCenter Server Appliance and in case of a disaster, restore it directly from the vCenter Server Appliance ISO. In this version, we support protocols SCP, FTP, FTPS, HTTP, and HTTPS, which allows you to back up the vCenter server appliance while it's running, no quiescing required. We support both the embedded and external deployments, um, deployment models, and we also don't require any agents for this backup process. The backup process can be started directly from the vSphere appliance management interface using the FQDN or IP address of the vCenter server appliance going to port 5480. From there, a wizard will be started and guided, guided you to the backup process. You first select the protocol that you have already configured. Then within the protocol, there is a location where the backup will live and enter in the user ID name and password for the, the backup location. And if you choose to, you can encrypt the backup using AES-256. Just keep in mind that you'll be prompted for a password, and that password needs to be stored in a safe location. We also provide the ability to backup historical and performance data if you choose to. By default, configuration and inventory is pre-backed up. If a disaster arises, you can just mount the ISO of the vCenter server appliance that you deployed from and hit the restore button right from the installer. The installer will then do a two-stage type deployment. Stage one deploys the appliance, and stage two then does the configuration and restores from the backup selected. For more information, check out our feature product walkthroughs that breaks down the features for the vCenter Server Appliance 6.5. And don't forget to check out pubs.vmware.com. Thank you. Thank you.